This is the card we're going to be making today. Isn't it adorable? I love these butterflies and how they just set off this card. Um, this is from the Quiet Metal Stamp Set. I use this on the envelope and on the inside and I use Thinking of You. And I put the butterflies through the splatter embossing folder and the the gray granite I put it through the painted texture 3d embossing folder now I use mostly dies on this there's not a lot of stamping I did two of these in the pebbled path I did one of these in the moody mauve and I did one of these in the granny apple green and I just, I cut it off here and cut it off here and just have the stem. And I used one of these in uh, basic white and there's the butterfly, the full butterfly and there's the half. And I used this die for the words uh, in pebbled path. So this is gray granite, pebbled path, pebbled path back here. And this is Moody Mauve. And this is um, uh, Bumble Bath. So, not pretty. I did one of these cards oh, a week or so ago, but I used embossing, uh, um, not embossing powder, um, uh, designer series paper. So I thought, if you don't have a designer series paper that goes with stuff, you can do it out of just plain cardstock. So that's what I'm doing this for. There's the envelope. And it's basically the same as the inside. And I did this in Bubble Bath, the blends and Granny Apple Green blends. So stick that up here. Hi, I'm Cheryl Rowling, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Ontario, Canada. Thank you for joining me today. Don't worry about sizes or supplies for this card as they are attached to this video. If you enjoy watching this video, could you please like and share as this helps me grow my channel. And if you could leave a comment, that would be wonderful as I love to see where you're watching from or what you think of the card. If you aren't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button and hit notifications so you will know when I post a new video. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to help you out. My contact information is attached. Now I've got everything cut, but I will show you how I did it. This is a uh, five and a half by eight and a half and I'm bringing in my paper uh, trimmer or you can bring in your simply score and this goes I had this out so I thought well I'll just use this two and three quarters all right have it tight against that edge and then go back and forth a couple times and then move this over I usually use my simple scored because it works uh, it's not as wide it's only 12 inches um, yeah 12 inches and now I'm moving this over to seven inches And this, make sure you use your score blade, not your cutting blade. Now, I'm going to put this away. Now I'm using my bone folder to put that down.
there. So it's opens and shuts. Okay. Now this is the one with Moody Mauve and this is the Granny Apple Green one. And I'm just going to take glue and glue that, uh, that on top so it's got the stem attached and you do not know that it's Moody Mauve down below because it's Granny Apple Green on top. So I just, you could have used, you could use your adhesive sheet, but I didn't think about it and I just did it with my glue. I got this wonderful little glue bottle with this cool um, tip off Amazon and it works wonderfully well. Close those up. Now I can put this on this tail. And I got uh, my silicone mat. And I'm going to stick it down. I'm going to move that so that it's even. And then move this so it's right on top. That one's on top, so I gotta move this one so it's on top. It just takes a couple minutes, but it sure looks nice when it's done. And then I will show you what I did. There. And put that back on where it's supposed to be. Now I'm going to run my fingers along the back and just make sure it stays there. Just takes a few minutes, but look at that. It looks like you've got green stems and a movie, moody mauve um, top. And then move this away. the lid on this so it doesn't go hard on me. And this one. And I am putting it through the splatter embossing folder. And it's basically just for the flower. It does, the, I don't need it for the leaves, but it goes on the leaves too, and that's fine. I love this little machine. Oh my goodness, it's so handy. I have my, I have a big shot. I don't have the stamp and cut embossing uh, boss machine, but it's off to the side and I have to go over there and 
do it. Whereas this one, I can just stay at my desk, which is wonderful. It kind of speeds things up <laughs> when I'm making cards. So, so now I'm going to, this is my white, uh, oops, there's, I see, uh, thing that shouldn't be there there now pick up these it will just be easier get this going and just put daubs where it's a little bit bigger just makes it easier and it just likes to bounce there and this is going to go there. And now get out my silicone mat and press on the other side. Now I'm going to take one of these pebbled path and I'm going to keep it the same length as it is when it comes out of the um, die cut but the next one I'm going to cut down just a bit because I want it I don't want it the same length I like things at different heights so it looks more like it's an arrangement or in nature not everything is at the same height so I am just going to cut this last little flower off plus the stem there to turn this over of course and then tweezer it I love my tweezers they are so helpful there we go now I'm going to bring it here and it's coming over here oh well it's stuck to my finger there now I'm going to do the same thing and rub the back give it a little back rub <laughs> get that out of there because that's not supposed to be in there and I don't want to get any glue on that so this is going to go next and it's going to be put in the tweezers too this one's a little bit easier it goes a little bit faster because some of them are a little bit bigger especially the flower flowers I should say and it's going right in the center and I'm going I forgot I have to cut that one off too Rub 
I began. And then this one. I cut one green, and it's the same as the pebbled path, but I want it shorter too. So I think I'm going to cut right there. So I cut off three leaves. One, two, three. Actually, if I do it here, just a little bit easier. So how's everybody doing? I am. This was supposed to be up yesterday, but oh my goodness, it has been such a busy time. I, uh, my best friend came to visit me on Saturday. So Saturday was shot. And then Sunday was, I went to my, uh, we, we went to my great niece, niece's birthday party at my niece's and then Monday my daughter came down and the kids so it's her week her week of vacation and so we had a really nice time together and made supper and I gave her the leftovers because her husband doesn't like uh, like casseroles he likes meat, potatoes, and corn. He's learning to like salad. He has learned to like salads, but he is not a vegetable person. And I taught my girls to be vegetable people because they're good for us. And they're delicious. So I made a favorite of hers, which is sweet and sour pork on a bed of rice so she I gave her the leftovers and she took it home and she will take it to work and or when Dave's having something that she doesn't really like she will pull this out and have it and I made quite a bit so that she would have leftovers I uh, I don't get to treat her too often so it was nice to be able to to treat her to something that I know she really likes. So it blessed my heart. Now I'm going to this is the Moody Mauve textured ribbon. Um it's one of the new in colors. And I am going to take a glue dot here. And I'm going to stick it in here so that it presses down together. And then I'm going to take another glue dot and I'm going to put it at the top. I um, stamped this on a half inch by two inch. And this is uh, the, from the die cut for this um, stamp set. Now I'm going to make sure that that goes up there and you can't see it. And then I'm going to get, uh, there it is. I've got my dimensionals on here because it is going to over top of this and it's bumpy. It's not just a single layer of cardstock. There's several layers. And I think I'm gonna put a glue dot in the center. There it is, looking all over for it there. And I 
think I'm going to put another glue dot underneath this one so it doesn't turn. I don't like ribbons when they turn. Okay, now I'm going to bring this here. Just like that. If you want these to spread out a little bit more, go right ahead because you can glue glue them down. I'll put a glue dot underneath each one. So I'm going to cut this just a touch. And cut this one just a touch. What do you think? It's cool, eh? Now I'm going to burnish that a little bit better. Now, these are from Bubble Bath, and I'm going to use a lot of glue dots this time. And I'm going to roll it up and form a little s cylinder or snake or whatever you want to call it on my pokey tool. And that's going to go up here. And then I'm going to put the wings up. They will get squashed a little bit, but they look nice when they are, it looks like they're flying. And I circle another one. Then I take it off and I have a little cylinder. And I can stretch it. And then I'm putting it down here. There. Now this, I'm going to push the ends up and I'm going to do one straight on here. And it's going to go over here. And then I'm going to get my pearls. And decorate the embe with the embellishments. And one last one for the center in the flower. Now, of course, you could do any saying here. You could make this a birthday card, too. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you want to do. Clear this away. And get out my... I already have an envelope done. There it is. Now I'm using my pebbled path and I'm gently tapping and then I'm going to stamp off just a little bit because there's a, a few that look a little juicy. Maybe I'll just start all over again. This is a brand new ink pad, so it's very juicy. Probably should have used my um, Memento Black.
There we go. Now, I'm just going to stick this underneath here so it doesn't bleed through. And I'm. this is my Daffodil Delight Stamp and Write marker. And I'm just doing the centers. There's a little spot that's not covered in the dark. So that's done. Now I'm going to take my Granny Apple Green Light and I think I'm just going to use it instead of trying to do lines. I tried to do lines in the other and it just doesn't work well, really well. Because it's such a small stem and small leaves. So. It's a little bit cooler today than uh, it has been. It's like, oh, fall's coming, no. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people that want fall, but I really, really like summer. I love the heat. Everybody else in the house complains, but well, no, not really Bill, but everybody else complains adult wise. So hot. <laughs> Once it reaches 78, I will say, okay, you can. <laughs> it's warm. It's hot. Not, that's not, I don't need a blanket now. <laughs> I like my blankets. So that was the dark that I use of bubble bath and this is the light and it just gives you a little bit but if you want to do it all one color do it all one color it's so tiny that most people wouldn't even know So I hope to get back on schedule for next week. Well, for Friday. Um, and then you're going to get two videos in a row. Bam, bam. Because uh, I was so busy, I had no time. Plus, I'm canning in there. Harvesting the garden. And... There. What do you think? And I love when it stands up. It looks so pretty because you can see both sides. Oh, you could if I uh, burnish this up just a tad bit more. There. But it stands up so nice that you can see when you're in front of it, you can see both sides and it looks so pretty. See? I like a card that stands. Uh, some people wrap ribbons around these so that they are flat. How do they stand then? Like you can't stand them. And I think when you go to all the effort to make a card, it needs to stand up so people can see it. But that's just my personal opinion. You can do whatever you want. But I just think, show off your work. You spent so much time on that. Why not have it be shown? I love the belly bands, but once you take them off or leave them on, they lay down and no one sees it. Or you take them off and then it's plain again. So it's like, yeah, I don't do belly bands. I don't think I've ever done a belly band on my... Um, cards just for that reason because I am fussy that way needs to stand there we go so what do you think 
could you give me a like, share, comment, uh, subscribe to my channel? It, if you comment or share, um, it helps the algorithm and my videos will grow out to more people that maybe will like what I'm doing. Thank you so much. I so appreciate you being here, spending time with me, taking time out of your day, and I know life is busy, as I can well attest, because I am late getting this up. But thank you so much for being here. Bye now.